In this video, I'll show you how to draw a point and line in ticks. I'll also show you how to change their color and introduce you to the different varieties of points and lines you can make. To learn how the ticks coordinate system works, check out my other YouTube video where I walk you through how to place your drawings or figures exactly where you want them. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a simple plain black dot using the ticks package in LaTeX. Think of a tick's point as a circle that you can fill in with color. However, if you reference the point later on in your code, you will need to call it a node. The format for a solid point is backslash fill draw, and within brackets you will specify the color and or thickness. Following that, in parentheses, you will include the, the location of the center of your point, the word circle, and then in parentheses you will specify the units for the radius. The words in red are variable. There are eight basic colors you can easily use just by typing in its name. White, black, red, green, cyan, magenta, or yellow. If no color is specified, black will be used. There are six basic thicknesses to choose from. Ultra thick, very thick, thick, thin, very thin, and ultra thin. Specifying the thickness is not required when drawing in a filled point, but it will not give an error message if you do so. Here I will draw a few points. First, let's draw a black point located at zero, zero, with a radius of two points. And we compile. Don't forget to place your drawing between a begin and end ticks picture command. And don't forget to add a semicolon at the end of your code for each object you draw in your ticks picture. Now let's draw a blue point located at 5-0 with a radius of 1 millimeter. To draw an open point, that is, a circle that is not filled in, we simply change the command to draw. This is where specifying a thickness to our circle makes sense. It is not necessary to specify the thickness for thin circles, because thin is the default thickness. I'll show you an example of this shortly. It's also important to note that the thickness of your circles may look a little different between your editor's PDF viewer and the downloaded PDF. The thicknesses I showed you were from a PDF document, so those are the thicknesses you will see when you download your project, regardless of how they may appear in your editor. Anyway, let's draw an open point. I'm going to make this one black, thick, and located at 0, 0 with a radius of 2 points. And now let's compile. Okay, so now let's draw a thin red open point located at 5-0 with a radius of 2 points. And let's add another open point next to this one, this time not specifying a thickness. I 
as you can see, the thicknesses are the same. So if you'd like to save some time and don't mind thin open points, use this. Also, the order of objects in the brackets are independent of the results. For those of you who may be interested, I sell digital paper on Etsy for only a couple of US dollars. Please help a fellow college student out and visit my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. Thank you. Now let's move on to drawing lines and ticks. The syntax is very similar to that of a point. We use the draw command, specify any additional characteristics like color, thickness, and pattern. Then you can give the starting point of the line, add two dashes, and give the end point. The two dashes tell ticks you're drawing a line, and the line will be drawn between the two given points. I'm going to draw a black line from point 00, zero to point 50. Now let's compile. Black is used by default, so there's no need to specify it. Next, I'm going to draw a thick cyan line from 00, zero to 55. Five. Everything you draw in one ticks picture will be on the same grid. These two lines share the point zero zero only because they are in the same ticks picture. See my video on ticks coordinates for a more in-depth explanation. Next, I'm going to draw a dashed line. To draw a dashed line, simply add the word dashed in the brackets. And we're going to compile. The order of objects in the brackets do not affect the result, and thin lines are used by default. To draw a line with an arrow at the end, add a dash and greater than or less than symbol within the brackets. A dash followed by a greater than symbol will place the arrow at the rightmost end of the line. For example, Let's draw a solid black line from point 00, zero to 30 zero with an arrow at 30. To place the arrow at the leftmost end of the line, use a less than symbol followed by a dash. To place arrows at both ends of a line, use a less than symbol, followed by a dash, followed by a greater than symbol. In the near future, I will be making a video about drawing shapes and filling them in with gradients in ticks. I will also be starting a series on ChemFig tutorials. ChemFig is a LaTeX package that allows you to draw atoms, molecules, reaction schemes, Lewis diagrams, and much, much more. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you found it helpful.